What is going on everybody and welcome to a brand new Footmas Squad Building Challenge video. Before we get started guys, I need to announce that we will be doing a YouTube live stream. Yes, I'm actually streaming live on YouTube at 3 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. UK today. About less than an hour after this video goes live and it will be live streaming the first episode of the road to glory so this is your chance to interact with me uh see the first episode of road to glory uh live on stream and just have a lot of fun so that's going to happen in less than an hour after this video goes up on youtube so be on the lookout for that anyways let's hop in to what you guys watched this video for we've got manuel akanji we've got mario balotelli and then we've got andres iniesta these squad building challenges um not as worth it as as previous SBCs for Footmas, in my opinion, especially the Akanji. And that's coming from a Dortmund fan. I don't like the Akanji's price for that for that card in return. Um, Dortmund are very in form. Akanji has a strong chance of getting some sort of upgrade throughout the year. Uh, and right now, this Footmas card, it's only 82 rated. And it does have really good stats. Don't get me wrong. With that 84 pace, 82 defense, and 81 physical, That's that's those are really good stats. It's just... Given the fact that it's 82 rating, it is going to cost you a little over 100,000 coins. So we're going to start with it, guys. But again, I do not advise actually doing this SBC. And I'll go ahead and cruise through this one so we can get to Balotelli and Iniesta, which are definitely more worth it, in my opinion, especially that Balotelli card, guys. Anyways, here are the players you're going to need. We need an 85 rating with three Bundesliga cards and 75 chemistry. The 75 chemistry isn't an issue, but the 85 rating does come at a cost. So we're going to start off with Ederson. Then we're going to go with at left back. We're going Brahimi. You guys know I hate going with fullbacks. Um, Inia, uh, not Iniesta. No, don't know why that's in my head. Uh, Felipe is going to be at center back. Then we're going to go and link him with Naldo. And though those guys are going to get the links with Brazil. So we've got Ederson linking with Felipe and, uh, Naldo to get the chemistry there. And then we're just going to go with Hredetsky at right back. He's the cheapest 84 in the game. Javi Martinez is going to play center defensive mid, and we actually use him in Iniesta's squad as well. And then we're going to go with uh, Thiago. He's going to play at right center mid. So we've got four Bundesliga players there, but we're not going to use any more than that. And that's going to complete the requirement for the Bundesliga players. Then we're going to go with Danilo Pereira. He's going to play center mid. And then we're going to go with Pizzi at camp, another 83 rated card. Then up top, we're going with Jonas and Diego Costa. So that is the, going to complete the squad for 85 rating and 77 chemistry with four uh, Bundesliga players in the squad. Again, I don't think it's worth it for this card. Um, the Kanji card is a super nice card, but I probably wouldn't pay anything over 60,000 coins for it, in my opinion. Next up, we've got the 85-rated Balotelli, which, uh, ironically, the Akanji is actually the most expensive out of the three SBCs today, uh, which doesn't make too much sense. Akanji is going to cost you maybe about 105,000 coins, but the Balotelli is only going to cost you like 65,000 coins, 60 to 65K, uh, and he's three ratings higher. And honestly, this card looks pretty solid as well. So we need three Italy players. We need three League One Conferama players. We need one Team of the Week card, and we need an 84 overall rating. So the rating goes down by one, and that really helps out a lot. But we do have a Team of the Week card in here, but we do use one that is quite cheap. And then we also need 85 chemistry. It makes it a little bit more difficult. We got to be more conscious with the links that we have. So here are the cards that we use in the squad, guys. Ruffier is going to play our goalkeeper position. Then we're going to go with Amrik Laporte. Laporte at center back is a pretty cheap 83 from the Prem. Then Kempempe, not as cheap. He is not a, a very cheap 83 rated. And I don't use him in too many SBCs, but he is going to get really good links with players in this squad. He's not only going to link with Laporte, he's going to get a strong link with Rufia. He's going to get a strong link with that center mid. He's going to link with our center back, Martin, who is our inform. We do go with an 81 rated inform. This Martin guy, he is less than 20K. He's going for almost discard price. So that's why I used him in this squad building challenge. Next up, we're going to go with Fakir, and he's going to get that link with Laporte. But Fakir is out of position. We don't need the chemistry from this card. He's not... Uh, we're not we're not too worried about getting him in terms of chemistry. We're more putting him in there uh, to link with Laporte, get Laporte chemistry, and also get us rating, obviously, with that 85 rating. Next up, we've got Verratti, and Verratti's the key component to this squad because not only is he one of our Italian players, he also links it across 
to a different league with Jorginho. And that way we can go with a couple Chelsea players. We can go with the Premier League over here and link these guys up, especially with that hyperlink or that strong link that is between Cesc Fabregas and Jorginho, that strong link between uh, Jorginho and Pedro. And then we're going to go with Morata with what is actually a hyperlink between Morata and Cesc Fabregas. And then at striker, we're going to go ahead and finish it off with Mario Balotelli himself. And that gets it up to three Italy players. That gets it up to uh, three um, or more League One players. We have the team of the week at right center back. We have uh, an 84 rating and one more chemistry than we even need. So we didn't need to have uh, Fakir in position, and it works out just fine like that. That's actually quite a cheap solution for the Mario Balotelli squad building challenge. And next up, we're going to finish it off with the Andres Iniesta. And then we're also going to go ahead and submit the footmas challenge here in a minute. Andre Iniesta uh, is an 88 rated card and again still cheaper than a kanji it's going to cost you about 70,000 coins guys uh, if this video has helped you out at all so far make sure to drop a like on the video I'd very much so appreciate it guys so the requirements for the Iniesta SBC guys as it loads up is going to be three Spanish players a maximum of four players from the same league an 84 overall rating and then 90 chemistry so looking at this we see the minimum three Spanish players. And normally what you want to do is just go with those three Spanish players and then go ahead and digress from that and go with cheaper players from throughout the 83 and 84 ratings. But given the fact that we need 90 chemistry and we can't go with everything from the same league, um, we are going to have to go with more Spanish players than we previously would have wanted to. So we are going to dabble into the Javi Martinez, which is definitely going to be inflated because of the Akanji SBC but it's just something we got to do for the chemistry guys. So starting it off, we've got Pepe Reina. He's a cheap one at center or, or at goalkeeper. Next up, we've got Kepa. He's at left back. Then we're going to go with Raul Albiol. He's going to play center back. And then DeVry, we're going to go ahead and get away from that Spanish players for a couple players here as we go with Vershalko, who's discard price. Next up, we're going to go with Saul. He's going to play center defensive mid. Make sure you've got him at CDM and Javi Martinez at left center mid because Javi Martinez needs to get that link with the left winger Ribery in a minute. We've got Alara Mendy at center mid, and that way we've got the links to uh, Javi Martinez with Spanish players all around from different leagues. We've got from the Premier League, we've got from La Liga, and then obviously he's in Bundesliga. Next up, we've got Frank Ribery. He's going to play left winger, and he's going to help with that uh, overall rating quite a bit. Then we're going to go with Adariz at striker, and then the right winger is going to be Lucas Vazquez. And that completes it with exactly 90 chemistry, exactly 84 rating, and then definitely more Spanish players players than we needed and obviously we couldn't go with too many players from the same league so we used four players from Calcio A uh, or Serie A we used four players from uh, La Liga and then we used two players from Bundesliga and one player from Premier League so that's how we completed the Andre Siniesta SBC for the cheapest possible and hopefully that helped you guys out so in retrospect the Akanji is going to cost you about 105k Mario Balotelli about 60 to 65k then Iniesta, maybe 70 to 75,000 coins, which is quite funny given the fact that Akanji is six ratings less than Iniesta, and they still have Akanji being about 30% more expensive than Iniesta as well, which is, in my opinion, pretty ridiculous, and I think it it, it really shows the inequalities for the, for the ratings. Um, if Iniesta deserves an 88 rating, I think they should give him a 88 rated card. Like that just doesn't look like an 88 rated card given the fact that he has 70 pace, 72 shooting, uh, 62 defense, 58 physical. His only two good stats are dribbling and, and, and passing, which don't necessarily translate to FIFA quite as well as, as, you know, uh, attributes such as pace and physical. We definitely see that, uh, a little bit more, um, valuable, but I guess that's just how it is, guys. Um, before we end the episode, again, guys, I will be going live on YouTube very shortly, so be on the lookout for that. And let's go ahead and submit the Footmas Challenge SBC here um, to get ourselves a 25K pack. I used pretty much all players from my club. I think the only player I bought was this left mid guy to link with my left back, and uh, everything else was already in my club. So don't try to replicate that squad like you did with the other SBCs in this video but hopefully we can get something decent out of this pack still haven't gotten anything in these uh in these foot miss challenge packs i think our best pull so far was uh like an 81 rated card 
Oh, it's green. Does that mean something good? Nope, nope, it does not. We've got ourselves a center back from Cameroon, I believe, in Kulu. And, uh, yeah, that, that, that seems pretty, uh, pretty normal. That seems pretty expected at this point. Thank you guys for watching. Drop a like and subscribe on the channel. And don't forget to check out our live stream. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.